The complex of red brick buildings on Fairfield Road is the former Bryant and May match factory. Bryant and May were Quaker businessmen who industrialised the production of safety matches in the 1860s. Until that point, matchmaking had been a home-based job on a small scale. Timber for the factory was brought along the canals and then chopped down into matchsticks. Up to 1,200 women and girls were employed to dip the sticks into a white phosphorus mix to produce the ignitable match head. Business boomed, but not all was well inside. A number of women developed a condition known as fossy jaw. Working closely with white phosphorus, the jaws of some women began to deform, disintegrate, or even glow in the dark. In 1888, a woman called Annie Besson rallied a match scale strike. It attracted huge publicity and Besson was able to secure improved conditions for the workers. In due course, the match scale strike provided the impetus for the first British trade union for women. The factory finally closed in 1979, but it was given a new lease of life when it was redeveloped as the apartments now known as the Bow Quarter. You can still see the company's old insignia on the factory gates and also a blue plaque to union campaigner Annie Besson. <laughs>